Uh, welcome back, uh, everyone, to another episode of the Christian Perspective, and we are once again talking about the Chosen here. This time, the Daily Water, Daily Water, Daily Wire is doing its best to help clean up the mess from the Chosen uh, concerning the Pride flag being on the set of the show. This time, they're trotting out Candace Owens, who has probably one of the worst takes out of everyone I've heard uh, talk about the Chosen. Uh, this take is right up there with her gushing over. Uh, Dave Rubin stealing babies from uh, from a woman uh, so he and his partner can act out this fantasy of being married and and raising these kids in a in a home that is not conducive of that. Uh, so, I mean, it's no surprise to me that Candace Owens uh, is is, of course, siding with the LGBT WXYZ in this sense. And of course, saying it's no big deal that it was on the set of The Chosen. It's no big deal. It don't fall for the trap saying that The Chosen should fire this individual. We've I've never called for the firing this individual. I've called for Dallas uh, to call homosexuality for what it is. I've called on Dallas uh, to address this issue with this employee saying, hey, dude, uh, we probably shouldn't be flying that on our on your per personal property or whatever, personal whatever it is, and we should have a dress code uh, moving forward from here. So that way we can avoid any other controversies that it's going to take the the focus off of what the content we're trying to create. And that, uh, of course, Dallas couldn't do that because he said he was going to go to war for that dude uh, who was wearing all the pride flag and pride stuff on the set. And so Candace Owens decided to go ahead and jump on here and, and of course, dogpile on on uh, John Root, who obviously broke the story and it was later on fired by uh, Turning Point USA. Um, and I speculated that maybe The Chosen has something to do with that, pressuring uh, uh, Turning Point USA to do that, even after uh, Jeremy Boring uh, came out uh, against John Root as well uh, for calling out The Chosen and coming out against their own reporter in Daily Wire. And so now they got Candace Owens here running a puff piece for The Chosen. And of course... Uh, and of course, saying it's no big deal that this has happened on the set. We should just ignore it. Don't worry about it. And then she continues to talk about in this video that we're about to watch together here. Say she talks about, well, you know, how did they supposed to know that he had a rainbow flag in his pocket or somebody had a rainbow flag in their pocket on my workspace? You know, what, am I supposed to fire them? They're, but it's not in their pocket. It's not hidden on their personal property, Candace. It's actually flying on the set, and that's the issue. And I don't care if it's three inches, six inches or 10 feet uh, big as, as a flag. The flag communicates, it represents a message, it represents an ideology. And that ideology goes against uh, the, uh, the teachings of scripture. Obviously it's a mocking God on the set of this, of this, uh, of this show that claims they're portraying the authentic Jesus. And so, uh, so before we dive into this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. If you enjoyed the new direction that, the that this channel has gone with a christian perspective hit that join button become a member of the channel help continue to support the work that i'm doing here uh through membership so let's go ahead and take a look at this uh over here coming from candace Owens' show and just just watch her listen to her how disingenuous she is about this whole situation uh it was pretty disgusting in my opinion all right guys happy thursday let's get right into it whose side are you on in the great Chosen controversy. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? That hit faith-based series, The Chosen. I'm on God's side, by the way. Not, not, not hers or Dallas's at this point. Was it? Everybody loved it. And then they dropped this promotional video, and there was a pride flag in the background, and everyone was aghast. Oh, how can we be watching this? Oh my goodness, what's going to happen? Are we all going to burn at the stake? Well, I want to know what your opinions are before I give you my opinions, which is coming shortly. All that and more today, coming up on Candace Owens. Yeah, so she goes on here and and starts in with her di her monologue with it. Actually, obviously, there was there is this faith based hit series, The Chosen. Now, I have not seen it. I will be upfront, but my husband did. He watched it and said to me that it was so amazing, uh, and that he would watch it twice if I wanted to watch it with him. And so it is definitely on the list of things that when I have time, I would like to cook through. I want to cook through the entire series. He says it's so wonderful. It even received an award. Uh, for its powerful depiction of Jesus Christ feeding the 5,000. But the big moment came in the middle of a controversy. Ladies and gentlemen, they released a video, a promotional video of them on set. And in the background, some sleuth noticed there was a pride flag. <gasps> Take a look yourself. You see how condescending she is with this whole matter? Uh, you know, I don't know Candace's faith um, at all. However, for her to just kind of just throw away this is like not a big deal. 
uh, just shows the direction of Daily Wire and and the people around her seem to uh, have fixated on. Let's take a listen. Continue and action. So who would have thought Judas and Z doing laundry together would be one of the most... Did you see it? I saw it. You saw it too. Oh my goodness. What are we going to do? So what happened next is conservatives went crazy. It sort of began with a Christian individual. His name is John Root. He worked, I'm saying this in the past in the past tense, for Turning Point USA. He was a contributor and a former sports reporter. And he took to Twitter to essentially say, hey, at The Chosen TV, can you explain why there's a pride flag on set? Yeah, John is the one that broke the story on this, by the way. He took it a bit further than this. He went on and he said, shouldn't every part of this show be biblically she, based to truly honor the authentic... You see how she doesn't address this first part here. She starts... Um, uh, down here, shouldn't every part of uh, biblically? He says at the very beginning, "Do you believe it's God honoring to promote a symbol that represents sexual immorality, a worldly uh, redefinition of marriage, and the idea that we can change our biological sex?" She ignores this whole first part. Anyway, Jesus, if you stand by having a pride flag on your set, you are not a Christian show. This was immediately uh, followed by calls, which were also led by John for conservatives to stop watching The Chosen. How can we watch this? The set has been contaminated. It is no longer about Jesus Christ. It is about this person behind the camera who has a pride flag. And it's not about the person. Again, we've addressed this numerous different times. It's about the symbol that person was flying and, the, uh, and Dallas Jenkins allowing that symbol to fly on his set. And of course, fans of the show and, and Christians who watch the show can show their disapproval by this by boycotting the show by sending a message to the chosen saying hey we don't we don't you know this is not biblically based as far as what you guys are doing uh this is wrong this should be addressed again again not calling for that individual to be fired but of course uh setting a a, a standard dress code or a standard uh, uh work um a work environment that would not do that you know for sure if he was flying a nazi flag that good dude would have been fired a long ago. Or if he uh, wove a different flag that says the Jews did it or something like that, he would have been gone. But since it's okay to go ahead and fly this flag uh, because of that, and again, it could have been easily avoided with just deleting it out of the promo video that was shown in, through the editing process. They could have done that. They refused to do it. They allowed it to be in there. And why does this person have a pride flag? It does beg the question, why would this individual do this to express themselves? I've also seen other images of this um, cameraman, and he is wearing in intentionally, it seems to me to be intentional, he is wearing his pride colors in his T-shirts. He's posted on Instagram about him being a openly gay individual that works on the set of The Chosen. So he is trying to get attention, and finally, he has received this attention, and conservatives are very much divided on this. Do we or do we not boycott? Now, here's what I will say off of that. I have been very consistent when it comes to my views on whether or not we separate art from artists. And I have said, absolutely, of course, we separate art from artists. If Mel Gibson was not himself a devout Catholic, he happens to be one. But if he wasn't, what if Mel Gibson was an atheist, right? What if Mel Gibson went around and he preached about his atheism? Uh, would that mean that the passion of Christ should not stand? Should Christians call to boycott the passion of the Christ? Well, no unless that atheism appeared in his work. It is the reason why I said that people like Sam Smith, I deleted all of his music. Uh, not because Sam Smith is a non-binary whatever he claims to be today, it changes daily, uh, but because he began showing his perversity throughout his works, dressing up actually like Satan when he performed, uh, putting out music that it has tons of debauchery and depicts gay scenes of sex. So I am now saying I will not listen to this artist because the art that they are producing uh, reflects this person's viewpoints. The Chosen has not been that. There has not been any message about gay pride. In fact, my first question when I heard about this debacle was simply, has anybody ever run a business? What were you expecting the chosen, the, the team over at The Chosen uh, to do when they saw this pride flag? Think that they would have a right to go over to that employee and to fire them? Is that what they were looking for? Is that what John Root wanted for them to walk over and say you're fired? In which case they would have a mass. And John Root never did call for that individual to be fired. Uh, by the way, of course, Candace Owens, once again, being disingenuous with her portrayal of John Root and calling to the attention that this 
flag is on the set of The Chosen. It has been for over a year. It's just now coming to light because they allowed it to be in a promotional video promoting season four of The Chosen. A discriminatory lawsuit on their hands. Do you guys forget that this is now a protected class? LBGTQ is not a protected class. Second thing I wanted to ask, and was why I said, have you ever run a business, is how exactly did you think that when they were hiring this individual to work on the show, they were able to ask him what his viewpoints were? Do you think that when you hire people, you can say, okay, so where's the last place you worked? Uh, okay, uh, are you gay? Are you like into gay stuff? Like, do you like gay stuff? Are you like a homo? Are you like into that? No, of course you are not allowed to do that. Again, uh, these are not questions that you are not al allowed to ask a person. So if that individual concealed all of that about themselves and they received the job, um, based on their merit, by the way, which they should have, if you are a good, you know how to operate a camera, was probably the question that they've asked. You probably showed his resume in terms of operating a camera. Uh, and then they hired him. It, you can't fire someone for being gay. I, I don't think we as conservatives believe that if you are gay, you shouldn't be allowed to have a job, right? So that you shouldn't be able to hold a job or operate a camera and work on different sets. And in terms of purifying your sets, let me just tell you my perspective. I work day in and day out on the show. The ideas on this show come from me. I produce the monologues. I consider what topics I want to have on a show. It is a tremendous lifting every single day to give you guys what I believe to be true. Uh, on my heart, I'm giving you guys pieces of myself, pieces of my personal life, and my honest opinion about the shape that the world is in today. A lot of people that work on this show, there are people in the control room. There are people that are operating the camera right here. There's a person operating the camera right, right there. There, I have no idea. Maybe one of them has a, a pride flag in their pocket. Maybe one of them has a trans flag in their pocket. This is a straw man argument that she's trying to utilize here. Of course, if it was in that gentleman's pocket, it would have been seen, right? But it wasn't. It was flying. It was also put in the promotional video. That would be like the Daily Wire showing it behind the scenes and some dude waving the uh, pride flag in the thing and leaving it in their promotional video for a Daily Wire uh, promotion of something. So again, this is a, 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 a straw man argument that she's trying to present here, of course, because she wants to run cover for Dallas Jenkins, The Chosen, and of course her her bosses there, uh, Ben Shapiro and Jeremy Boring. It. Do you know how absolutely livid I would be if after everything that I have done uh, in terms of putting myself out there, the attacks that I have received from my family for taking positions that are not popular, you know, popular to culture today, if everyone turned their back on me because a person that is hired to operate a camera and is efficiently doing that decided that they wanted to have a pride flag in their pocket. Again, in their pocket, not visible, can't be seen. Again, this is a straw man argument. As you see in even in this scene here, it is not clearly in the pocket of the steady cam dude. It's on his equipment shown there for everyone to see on the set, along with Anybody else that watched this promotional video? Again, this is a straw man argument that Candace is trying to uh, to promote here, and she's absolutely in the wrong in this. Go ahead. You know it doesn't reflect my views. It doesn't reflect the views of the Yes, it does, because you allow it to be there. That, right? You allow it to be there. You allow it to be flown there. This show. So are you, are you suggesting that we go puritanical? and start asking people these questions and open ourselves up to lawsuits. And if your answer to all of that is yes, then I have to tell you that you have a very immature business mind. That's the truth, you have a very immature business mind. The work that is being produced at The Chosen, again, I have not seen it. I'm going saying this based off of my husband's perspective. Of and again, The Chosen is not The Daily Wire. They're two different entities to begin with anyway. The Chosen, of course, uh, as Dallas tried to, to reason, it's not a ministry, even though it is he's claimed he's trying to reach people for Christ. That is your definition of a ministry, even though it is for profit or whatever, you're still trying to reach people for Christ. So there, I mean, again, Daily Wire is different. It's a news outlet, right? So again, to a straw man argument by Candace Owens here, uh, trying to trying to equate the two, which she has not done a very good job convincing me, or I'm sure many other people that were in the comments there. Of the show is solid Christian work is influencing people in the right direction is uh waving a pride flag in the background of a of a uh christian production um uh doing the lord's work there uh candace is that doing the lord's work i know you and charlie kirk are, are great friends and all and you guys uh many times elevated 
the LGBT and your guys' stuff talking about how conservative they are and, and they should be part of this drag queens and all that other stuff, Candace. So once again. There are no tidbits of lesbian, gay, and trans agenda in The Chosen. When you allow the flag to fly in your promotional video, it is. And if you are a business owner and you suddenly realize that this person, who is likely in my best estimation, a rogue employee. He's been doing it since he's been on the set. Who is now goading them to fire them. Who is enjoying this controversy who is enjoying saying that I'm working on the chosen set and begging for a reason to sue them, you would be a fool to take the bait. You would be a fool. To, it's exactly what that individual probably wants. It's the reason why he's posting up his little LGBTQ flag. What could I do right now? You guys know what I feel about Black Lives Matter. What could I realistically do if a person had a BLM flag in their pocket on my set right now? And again, that's not, well, what could I do? I'm going to fire them? What are they going to sue me for racial harassment? Again, it's incredibly small-minded, and I think it's ridiculous that conservatives have held this perspective that this show and how we have nothing, all we do is lament. Oh, small-minded. You're very small-minded if you don't adhere to the uh, if you adhere to the biblical principles in Scripture and God's word. You're small-minded, according to Candace Owens here, by the way. Not my words, her words. And the fact that there are no traces of Christianity in pop culture. We do. It's all we talk about all day, day in and day out. Everything's debauchery. Everything's about leftist agendas. We finally get a solid show, an award-winning show that is. Is it? Is it solid if they push and allow LGBT propaganda to be on the show, to be in the promotional videos? Is it a solid show, Candace? No, no, it is not. Portraying the life of Jesus Christ, and we find a rogue cameraman, and we say attack. Kill it. Stop watching it. I, I, I can't even imagine having a mind that small. So while I am not applauding or... You know what the Lord says he's done with the lukewarm churches? It spews them from his mouth. Lukewarm Christians. Lukewarm. Spewed from his mouth. You're, you're hot or cold. And if you're lukewarm, the Lord doesn't even want you condoning rogue employees, challenging their employers with little protests and flags, knowing exactly what they're doing. I think it's gross, and I hope that that karma deals that individual. And we don't believe in karma, Candace. We believe in the in, in Scripture. We believe in God and, and God's vengeance. We don't believe in this karma that you want to push again. I am going to commend the team for producing solid Christian content that is bringing people over to our side. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Oh, uh, that's all you're going to say, Candace. That's all you're going to say that uh, Christians shut up and just enjoy the content that was put out for you. Just enjoy it. Consume it. And don't worry about what scripture says. Don't worry about what the Bible says. Don't worry about what God says. Just consume what we're being given. Don't worry about all the other stuff, you small-minded bigot. It's basically what Candace Owens just told you guys in her monologue that she had just now. Anyway, again, not a good look for The Chosen, not a good look uh, for Candace Owens and, of course, The Daily Wire. Uh, but I don't. it's not surprising that they continue to attack Christians who want to hold Christian beliefs and Christian standards to Christian things. All right, if you're going to say you're a Christian and that you're producing Christian content, then you should line up with being held accountable to Scripture. All right, anyway. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Of course, you guys can follow me on all my social media. Hit that like, subscribe, hit that join button if you want to become a member of the channel. Help support the work that I continue to do here. And until next time, I hope you all have a blessed day. Bye, everyone.